Welcome back to Bits of an Artist's Life. This is Sandy Hester, and this week we have two things. First off, I sneak you into some gardens to paint with me. So we're gonna watch that. Then at the end, let's come back and I want to give you a little bit of a life and channel update. We'll chat about that at the end. But first, let's go do the fun gardens. It was a fun day. It is quite early this morning. I am packing up to head out this morning. It's Friday. Fridays, I usually try to take off part of the day and get outside or do some kind of painting, something fun. Go to a used bookstore or something. This morning, I finally bit the bullet and got a membership to this garden that's here in Nashville, Big Gardens. It's really tricky to get into. I mean, it felt like I was trying to get into the White House to get a ticket to go to the White House. And then they have a lot of rules. So I used to be part of a group that we would go there and paint at this gardens, but now they don't do that. I have not been there in years and years and years. I'm hoping I even still like the place. Uh, and they don't allow paint, like artists to set up their easel and paint anymore. So I just thought, well, that's it. But for some reason yesterday, I thought, well, I'm gonna call. I kept thinking about the gardens. I called, I was like, or no, I didn't call. I like chatted with them and said, can I not like at least bring a sketchbook? And they were like, oh yeah, you can bring your sketchbook, just no paints. And then I was like, well, what about handheld watercolor palette? And, they, and then the lady was like, I don't know, you'll have to email so-and-so. And I thought, well, I just won't push it. So I was having this vision of like, wow, this is gonna be really refreshing and light, just taking very minimal supplies. I was kind of envisioning just my color pencils and just sketching. And I thought, I'll be satisfied with that. But then as I got in here and started packing, basically I think my new motto is, if you can't take paints, take everything else that's not a paint. I put this on Instagram and somebody said, it's interesting to define paint. I was like, exactly. And then somebody else suggested how I, how I really go minimal and that I need to limit myself. And I was like, I think limit is a bad word in my vocabulary. Anyways, I've got quite a lot of stuff. And I also am pushing it with some of my stuff. And I may get caught in about a year membership, so I'm hoping I don't get banned. You know what I mean? I'm kind of one of those people that gets in trouble at like museums and stuff because I touch stuff or pull out my water bottle or <laughs> my snacks and the guards are always like, I get, anyways, I'm really nervous. So when I go to museums and stuff, cause I'm always getting in trouble. Let's hope we don't get in trouble today. Let me show you all the stuff that I'm taking. It, I do feel like it's gonna feel lighter, my backpack, because I'm not taking a big thing of water. So I do think it was still in some ways feel minimal. I had so much fun last night. I was like color swatching everything. You know, when you feel the squeeze, you need to really make sure you take like exactly what you need. And I have so much fun with that, like swatching everything. I spent forever swatching all my color pencils. And then I was thinking of all the other things I could take. And I probably won't even use my color pencils. We'll see. But I do have a nice array of stuff. Okay, let me show you. I'll let you know if I get caught. And I'm not expecting any good art from this. Like, it's just exploration. I won't have my paint. I feel very handicapped not having any paint. I am taking a water brush and some things that are water soluble. So I think it will, hopefully they won't consider that paint. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna have to be a little sneaky. Maybe I'll just test the waters and bring out like dry material and then if it's filling. I think I'm also not supposed to film, but I am taking a little baby tripod and I'll have my phone with me. So I'm hoping to get some little snippets for you. Okay, let me show you what I'm taking. Okay, here's the array. So first off, here are my multiple pages of swatching that I did. I am going to take three sketchbooks of three different sizes, my mini or small Royal Talons, my bigger Royal Talons, and a Stillman and Burn. Because I really never know until I'm there on location how I'm feeling and what size, whatever I want. I'm going to take my temper sticks, which are like kid temper stuff. That is technically paint, but maybe people at the gardens won't know that. <laughs> That's what I'm banking on, lack of knowledge. I am going to take my, my soft pastels and what I did, I emptied out my unison box so I can go like this. Oh wait, first. I've got puffy stuff to keep everybody safe. Puffy stuff. 
this. And then I can put this on. And hopefully everything won't go rolling around. You know what I mean? Okay. Tempura. The lid barely fits on this. I did have to take some out, but that's all I'm willing to do. Hopefully the lid will stay on. But if it doesn't, that'll be fine too. Okay. Then I cannot not have my Neo Colors. I did pare it down, but yeah. So Neo, Neo Color 2s, a must. I wish that lid stayed on a little better. Neo Color 2s. Then my array of color pencils. I narrowed it down to that. I don't even have the whole thing filled up. It's like a Christmas a miracle. And I'm taking this pencil sharpener instead of this one because if I only sharpen a couple, then that the stuff will stay in there. But I am taking this tin in case I need to dump this out. So there's that. Then I'm taking these solid markers. They're called markers, but they're really solid paint. I just got them. Okay, I just tore into a box of art supplies. I wasn't gonna film it because I don't always film my supplies and sometimes I feel like I wear y'all out with them. But I got a few really new things and as soon as I swatched one of them, the way it felt, I was like, no, I've got to get on here. This feels very exciting. I bought these Prismacolor Ebony Graphite. My guess is somebody told me about them. So I purchased them and they are very smooth and dark. I don't know if it's any different than the one that I do like. The black wing, I do like this one a whole lot. Uh, so let's see if it's a little different. Oh, yeah, it is different. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is, the ebony is darker and it is very smooth. I feel like I can get a bigger area too. Yeah, I do like that. I, it came just like this with no eraser, so I don't know if I can sharpen both sides. I started to show, sharpen both because I thought that would be nice if I'm out and then this side gets dull. I'll have that one sharpened too. So that came with two. I do like it a lot, actually. It makes me want to keep drawing. Oh, I doubt it's water soluble, but let's just test. Uh, in fact, there's no way it would say it. Yeah, I knew it. Well, oh. Is it? Is it? Maybe. Hmm. Well, maybe. Okay, well, well, I've got this in my hand. I also got a few new like acrylic brushes. I've been wanting to play around with some shorter handled, more acrylic-like bristles for when I'm, I'm painting like on my lap on location because long ones don't work as well when I'm working in my lap. So I got three different brands and I'm hoping one will work. This one feels pretty good, just uh, using it like that. This is future editing Sandy here. I noticed that the footage didn't show this um, brush very well, so I wanted to show that, and I've been using it, and out of all the ones, I do really like it. I do like the ones I'm about to show you too, the Blick, but these, this one has been nice. I like the feel of it, and I'm going to purchase some more sizes of it. So just wanted to mention that and show that. Then I got this Princeton Summit. And then also thought I would try Blix pack, but a bunch of these are tiny, which I won't use. There's probably only like two in there that I will use, um, but it feels nice too. They pretty much all feel about the same, but this size right here is a good one for me. Okay, I feel like I'm rushing through all of that. These right here are what I was excited about. Solid marker. Now they're called marker, but they're solidified. Let me see if I can get up here and show you. Solidified paint. What? I found these. I don't know. I was just looking around on Blick. And I thought, Ooh, maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll purchase and try. They don't have a ton of colors, and they're a little more like just primary-ish, but I did one swatch and was like, hello. It's matte, 
it goes down a little bit like lipstick. It is nice, very smooth. I would say if you think about it, I'm guessing it, you do like this. Oh wait, is that, oh, okay. It's got a strong smell, I'm smelling it now. Hmm. I would be using these out side so that will probably be okay but let me sniff the paper real quick hold on <laughs> whoops i'm knocking the camera uh very strong smell <laughs> i would not use these in the car i can already tell you that right now holy smoke it's like strong nail polish that's what it's got a, a smell like but ooh, that's interesting look at that yellow it's kind of like a naples yellow okay that's cool so I thought these could be nice for just getting some color down quickly. They do feel a little waxy, but it's not waxy like oil pastels. I think it's gonna dry. I don't think you'll be able to continue to do that, but we'll see. Ooh, that feels nice. I'm quite disappointed in that smell though. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, this one came with like a little lid. That's weird. I bet the rest were supposed to have that too. That looks like a nice pink too. Very similar to that color. Okay, he, I'm finding the name right now. That first one was a 19. The yellow one is number three. This is number five. I would say you would not need both of those colors. They are too similar. Okay, this is number 36. That's like a cerulean. Oh, they layer nice too. Yeah, they're smooth. It'll be interesting to see though if they're like an oil pastel. Whew, the smell though, gosh, I'm gonna be high. Mm. Hello. I need to find out why these are so smelly. This is number 29. I think these are meant to be, you can use these on like a lot of things like glass and stuff. It said something about high temperature. Solidified paint for high temperature. I don't really know why you would need something for high temperature, but they go over each other really nice. Yeah, they're fun. The smell, <clears throat> that's a game changer. I don't like strong smells. Let's see how strong the white is. Oh. Okay, over here where this is dried some, that goes over it nice. I never buy white and stuff, but. I know that y'all are gonna wanna know if these go over Neo colors, so let me go grab them. I don't know why I said that, like it, like it was annoying. I want to know too. Oh, that's interesting the way these go over those. I'm kind of wondering if I'm supposed to let it. It's kind of tacky. Hmm. Ooh, it does go over near your colors. Wow, yep, sure does. You have to wear a mask, but they'll go over it. Okay, that's really nice. Oh boy, sorry guys, here I go with all my nice. Yeah, it goes right over Neo Colors. Whew, man, I'm gonna have to go open a window. <laughs> okay, I'm glad, aren't y'all glad that I like choked to death for y'all so I can let you know the, the stinky products. Okay, Whew, I'm gonna take this outside and open a window. They smell to highest of heavens. But I'm gonna see if I can work with them outdoors. If not, I'm going to contact Blick and send them back. But I do think that'll be nice to have. Let's see. I did this morning add my Neo Pastels. I mean, again, I just feel like, you know, I have to have some things, like this will be top layer kinds of things, but feels like a must have, you know, just feels like no ifs, ands, or buts. Then I've also got an array of markers. I really tried to limit it, limit it down. This, I don't even know why I'm taking darker ones. I really ever use darker ones, but I've not really been in this situation a lot where I can't take my paints. Then I've got two water brushes. 
that maybe I can use on my Neo Color 2s and even on the markers. And then I did, did do a little color swatch. Here's my palette of markers, marker colors. So that way I can just have this laid out and very quickly. I'm sure you can tell who just came in. But because I, I have a hard time with the markers because I don't know the numbers very well and the lids don't always show you the value. I feel like I use the markers more for value than color. So I've got that, which fits handily in my little pocket there. And I mean, as I'm putting all this together, it is looking, you know, nice and small. I think it's going to work great. Yeah, this is looking pretty small and light. If I wasn't taking so many sketchbooks, well, now that I look at it that way, to fit it on my bag could be a challenge. We'll see. I don't know. I can fit quite a bit in my bag. So, I wonder if I... I'm going to think about my sketchbooks. I don't need as many because I don't have paints and wet material. Usually, I'm working on one while the other one's drying. So, maybe I should just do that. I'll see what will fit in my bag and how heavy it is. That, that'll make the decision. But that's what I'm taking. And I'm super, 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 super... Super excited. I haven't been outdoors in a while. Here, let me get y'all in a proper place here. I've been working so much, I haven't been outdoors yet or in a while, and so I kind of feel this lack of, like I feel like I'm pushing myself a little bit. It's interesting, once you get outdoors, here comes Finn too, and he's gonna scare Cooper. Oh, he's gonna use the cat scratch. I've been bringing the cat scratch in and using it to anchor my tripod in. Everybody loves to come in while filming. What was I saying? Yeah, so I've just been feeling my lack of excitement to get outdoors. There's something about once you get out there and you, you know, there feels like this exhilaration and the wind is blowing in your hair and I don't know. It just feels very addictive. Like even though you come back exhaustive, you exhausted, you feel like, when do I get to get back? So I feel like I need that a little bit. That's why I picked this new location that I haven't been to in a while. Ben's using the cat scratch. Why do the animals love to make all the noises? They ne they're never in here making noises. Okay, there he goes. Okay, so I'll try my best to sneak y'all along with iPhone footage. I'm not gonna take my real camera. And yeah, I'll obviously show you what I do when I get back. And I'll let you know if I get busted or not. I'm gonna try to be on my best behavior because I have a full year, you know what I mean? I, I need to remind myself I have more time to push the boundaries. Get a feel for the place, all that. So we'll see. I also am hoping though that I'm excited about the place. I can't remember how big it is. I feel like it's slightly, I don't know. It's, I was going to say small, but I just hope that I feel excited. Also, this is like a curated garden in like place. So sometimes things that are too pretty, I feel like are harder subjects than a simple. Anyways, I need to eat breakfast, get packed up, and get going. If you don't know the excitement of getting outdoors and painting, then you need to give it a try. Even just go out in your yard. It's fun. My buddy's gonna miss me today. All righty. I packed my bag, picked it up to take it to the car, I barely could get everything in, still hadn't even put like my purse stuff, like medical device, wallet, that kind of stuff. It was heavier than it literally has ever been. And this is all the water. Wait, where is it? I have the tiniest little water thing in here. So, I mean, usually I have a big thing of water because I'm using it for paint. So I pared down everything. Let's say I left those marker things the same because I do want to test those. Left my Neo Pastels the same. I pared down my tempera paints to just the real necessity. Then I decided my color pencils were like the culprit. They were way too heavy. So, and it's also the thing that I use probably the least. So I just pared it down to basically these. That orange is not in there. Orangey red is not in there. But these are the only color pencils I'm taking for warms. I hope I don't regret that because if they tell me I can't use my other stuff, then I might be in trouble. But I think I'll be fine with those. And then mainly greens. No, all greens except this one 
blue. I tend to reach for my Derwent drawing pencils and once and my luminance, but if I had to pick, Derwent drawing is my top fave. It just is a workhorse. It can go over a lot of stuff. In fact, I really feel like I need to figure out what I have and just buy all the colors because I do use them so much. I think this is going to be much more doable. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is on the back of this, swatch my pencils. Oh, there's already something there, but I'm going to swatch my pencils. Then I'll know exactly what I have. Pencil sharpener here, and hopefully the bag will fit a little better now. I really should leave my soft pastels, but I just feel like I can't. I'm going to swatch, repack, try again. Oh, I also... This is a biggie. I'm literally taking one sketchbook. I'm, I took this smaller one out. Again, I hope I don't regret that. Um, but the reality is I'm probably only going to work in one anyways. That's what I'm taking. Okay, we are here and they've got it all decked out for fall. I'm pretty excited. The grounds is pretty big. I forgot how big it is, uh, but I'm gonna just explore for a little bit and find a place to just plop down. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay, I found a bench right here and this is overlooking the Japanese garden. So I think it's gonna be perfect. There's lots of amazing trees and different colors around and I can only imagine once my eyes start adjusting they're doing something down there so it's kind of loud but that's okay. It's nice to have a bench and be off the path and have a little space to set up. beautiful spot. So many great trees. The moon is up there too. I'm going to try to remember to get that in in my sketch. And I'm just here on this little path so it's nice because I'm just right off. starting to get busy here. I'm definitely finding that I've brought the right materials. Feeling happy about this. It's so nice to just sit and literally just observe and let my eyes adjust. It's just such a glorious thing. 
Okay, I'm done with this one. I am really happy with it. Pretty proud of myself. And I'm going to pack up. And that's another reason I'm glad my bag was not stuffed to the brim. The bathroom, I think, is right down there. So I think I'm going to use the bathroom and either scope out so next time I know where I want to go or find another place. I may scope. My bag is pretty heavy, though. Maybe I'll throw it in the car and then walk around, even though, I mean, I've got my painting clothes on. That may be okay. Maybe I'll bring my sketchbook and one color pencil. I think that's what I'll do. And walk around, scope out, but also sketch, because I don't think I have time to do another whole one. I've been here for like an hour. No. A little over an hour. So if I did another one, yeah, I don't need, I'm sitting here while I'm processing what I'm gonna do. I'm so stinking excited because this is definitely a place I'm gonna come back to. I only had a few people walk by me. There's a bunch of like pumpkin-y stuff, ball stuff up there, so all the kids are there and parents. This is the Japanese garden, so it's very obvious that not many people are interested in it. I do think I'm gonna walk down this way because there looks like some interesting stuff. My arm's getting tired. Uh, but first, I do think it'll be a good plan if I go to the bathroom, pick out a marker maybe and a colored pencil. I think that's a good plan. I'm thrilled. Jackpot, and I didn't get caught. Not yet, at least. Okay, I'm back at the car. Got really hot. Um, I did a couple more sketches, and that was a lot of fun. This place got packed fast. I mean, it is a Friday. I'm wondering what it would be like on a Monday, but it really didn't matter. It's very obvious where people, like, it's packed with, like, moms and kids, so there's lots of, like, activity stuff, and they're all there, and then all the places I was, nobody really was. Super nice. I didn't have one person approach me. I mean, not that it matters. Well, I mean, I guess for the sake of like getting caught with my art supplies, totally fine. Nobody noticed me whatsoever, except for the fact that I did wear painting clothes. If I didn't do that, maybe I wouldn't stand out as much, but I don't like, I mean, I just, you know, I was filthy. I went in the bathroom and washed up because filthy. Okay, my arms are tired. Burning up, I'm going to head home, eat lunch, and maybe take a nap. Well, that's fun. I'll show you later what I did. Okay, I have y'all set up in a little bit of a precarious situation. So I'm hoping this setup works. Uh, I'm too tired to take time to go get the appropriate tripod. So I've got you kind of rigged. Okay, <clears throat> I'll probably be coughing through this. My allergies are really bad from being at those gardens. Worth it. So much fun. It was way busier than what I remembered that place being. Now, it is a pretty Friday and they do have like their pumpkin fall festival stuff going so it's hopefully why and while it was more why it was more packed and there was seemed like a lot of kids stuff going on there were a lot of crying and screaming kids it won't be like that during the winter I can promise you that though um, but I had so much fun it's just really nice to be able to be someplace and let your guard down completely really nice most of the time I was just on this bench where there was like nature stuff behind me nobody was gonna be walking up behind me unless they were like going through the bushes and therefore i'd be able to hear them which this is not a kind of place that i would expect that to be happening anyways unless it's like a gardener you know what i mean uh i told grady when we got when i got back and was having lunch just it's just such a gift to be able to sit and just observe no no not just sit and observe but to be able to then document I feel like it's such a gift to an artist. It feels like a gift to be able to even do that, um, to have the skill. It's fun to be at a place where I can do that without being nervous about somebody walking up, to feel decently happy with what I've done. I mean, this is not gonna win any awards. I keep looking down at it, but I'm happy with it for the first time going to this place. It was fun, gonna be back for sure. Nobody seemed to care at all what I had. I'm pretty sure I could have had a small watercolor palette. But I do like the idea of taking less things. I had to pare down even more. All morning I was taking stuff out because my bag was 
heavier literally than it's ever been. It was stuffed to the brim. I guess all the dry mediums are heavy. I don't know, it was a lot. Or maybe I just took too much. Anyways, I kept going to the car. I had it all packed up and going to the car and be like, I'm pretty sure I can live without my oil pastels. And I'm glad because I didn't need them. I think next time I would just take markers, colored pencils. I'm looking to see what I used and soft pastels. And I think I would be golden. Water brush, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, I had those extra new supplies, those paint markers. I love those. I only used them one time, but I love them. I wish they did not stink to high heaven. But then if they were great, like they didn't stink, I'd wish they were in more colors and on and on and on. So basically they are what they are. Let me show you what I did. I wonder if I could just even hold it up right here. This page, I either need to spray with fix it or just be really careful. Here was my, the main spread that I worked on that I sat and just worked for quite a while. It probably would be better if I showed you overhead. I'll do that too. And then I did two other sketches. I took everything to the car because I just wanted to walk around and scope a little bit. So I had two color pencils, a blue and a green, dark blue, dark green. And just would stand with my sketchbook sometimes and sketched a couple things. I definitely enjoyed doing that in the garden area more. I think I want to take a pencil. I left my new good pencil that I wanted to try. I left that here. I wish I had had that because it would be a nice one to just go and like take color notes, sketch, and then draw little things off to the side and say the notes or say the colors. So now I've got to put my studio back together. That is probably the only negative about when I take all my stuff. Then I come back and everything is out of its place. It's not as fun unpacking as it is packing, but I'm going to do that. I need to just get everything sorted because the studio it's in unfunctionable mode right now. And the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to work. I've got to start chipping away at editing the landscape video. Landscape class, not video. There's 50 million videos in it. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and just rest a little bit too. I feel really tired and I need to hydrate. That's what I need to do too. Anyways, thanks for coming along with me. Get out and do it yourself. You have no idea how nice it is, literally. Nobody asked to see my stuff. It, they treat you like you're like a famous person or something like, oh, what is she doing? Oh, I don't want to like disturb her. So you just don't need to be nervous about it. At this place, I could have just, well, one of the places I did just sit way off. Nobody even knew what I was doing. So anyways, okay. I feel like I was going to give you all a nice like motivational speech, but I'm too tired. So just go do it. You'll enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. It's very addicted, addicting, addictive, addicting. Anyways, I'm going to go drink some coffee and rest. <laughs> so last week I did not post a video. I was sick. We are still sick. Grady is on week four of this cold virus thing that we've had. We've called it the forever cold because it just will not go away. I'm on week three and I've got some other health issues and just like major fatigue going on. I think I'm slowly coming out of it. I'm starting to feel just a tad bit better, but it came at a good time because I have been thinking about something for months now and not just thinking, I think like really in the core of my being needing. So I'm going, I'm not going anywhere, first off I'll say that, but I am going to start uploading every other week instead of weekly. I'm just at a place where I cannot keep up the pace and do literally anything else. So there's a few reasons that I'm going to do that. One, just to be able to like do life. I am at a pace that I just have zero leeway for sickness or for just coffee with a friend. When I've got something else on my plate, like classes that I'm working on right now, then it just, I'm working any night that Grady's gone, I'm working weekends, I'm working and I'm feeling very tired. And I'm at a place where there's just things that I feel very excited about that I want to do. I want to do more classes. For a long time, I just kind of was like, I can't really even think of any classes. 
I did the one with um, everything you want and need to know about acrylics. And now I am like bursting with ideas for classes, but I need time and space for that. The one that I'm working on right now, the landscape class, I've been working on for months. Probably, I'd have to take time and count back, but six or seven months at least. And I've got probably about three more months of editing, maybe more than that. But our goal is January at this point to get that out. There is a ton of work that goes into those because I'm doing it all, filming, editing, thinking of the process. And I'm giving you guys a lot in those classes. And I just need time to do that and it's killing me. Um, I'm feeling the burnout and I don't want to get burnt out because I love this space. I love this channel. You guys are just the best. Something I think about a lot when I've been making this decision and what's kept me from making this decision. I get the most amazing comments from y'all and how this channel has impacted your life. I hear things like I have, you know, chemo every week and I Friday is like the get through Friday, get to Friday because Sandy's video comes out and that's my treat or my daughter and I watch these videos together every week and it's just a sweet time together. Like those things are in the back of my mind when I'm tr making or thinking about making these decisions. So I've not taken it lightly. In fact, I've gone further with not doing it than what I needed to. I needed to do this a while back and it just took me a long time because there's so many of those kinds of comments and people that are in my mind and heart. But at the end of the day, it's a YouTube channel. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine to go to every other week. I mean, YouTube's not gonna like it, but my brain and body and Grady <laughs> will like it. You know what I mean? I know that will be sad news for some of you guys and I know that and I am sorry and I don't take that lightly. I haven't taken it lightly because it's been months and months of feeling it and pressing through and I'm at a place so where I just need to do it for myself. But I'll still be here every other week. We'll do this together every other week. It'll be great. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, won't it? I'm not leaving. Don't think, oh no, this is the beginning of the end. No, I just need a little space in life to either be sick or do life, yeah, to be able to get out and paint a little more, but also a space where I can work on other projects. Things like we want to work on some books to get out of my paintings, sketchbooks and things like that. You guys have been wanting that for a while. Well, I have no time for that. Like I just, there's no way I could possibly with the pace that I'm keeping right now with YouTube do that. Nobody except for Grady knows the amount of time I put into these weekly videos. I mean, it's a massive amount of time and they're free to you guys. So um, I just need a little bit of bandwidth or breathing room. I don't know the right thing. So make sure to subscribe and ring or tap that bell thing because that's going to be how you're notified. But also if you follow me over on Instagram, I'll continue to let you guys know when I've posted. It will still be Friday at 1.30 Central Time. Um, and probably a little bit longer videos maybe. I don't know. I just know that I needed a little bit more space and so I'm going to take it. After I made that decision, it was like two or three weeks ago on a Saturday, I was like, it's time. Like I need it. And I thought I'm just going to even do it before I even announce it. Like I'm taking next week off. I was just at a place of just extreme exhaustion. I think I'd started getting sick and hadn't realized I was sick yet. And I worked like a dog that week to get that video out and was just exhausted. And I was like, yeah, I need a little breathing room in life. So that next Monday, I just felt like freedom. Um, again, that may sound awful because I do love this space. I love this channel. I love doing these kinds of videos for y'all. I love letting you in. I love letting you be a little fly on the wall. And I'm going to continue to do that. It's just going to be in a little bit less frequency. That sounded like I'd been drinking, but I've not been drinking except for warm water. This cozy fall weather. I'm loving it. Got the sweaters out and the scarves. Wearing scarves even when I don't even need to wear the scarf because it's just fun. All right. Please don't go anywhere. I don't think you will. I think you'll stay here. But if you will subscribe, that will help because the algorithm is going to kill me for this decision. And it's just something that I'm going to do because I need to do it. And the algorithm can't rule my life. I need to make decisions that are good for my body and my mind and for our lifestyle and for the things that we're wanting to do.
All right, that's the big channel news. Um, I really don't even know how to end this now, except just to say, I know I won't be seeing you next week, but it will be in two weeks. Okay. I feel really bad. You do need to know I feel really bad. I feel really free, but I feel really bad also. So there's the news. And I'm so used to say, see you next week. I don't really know what to say. I'll see you in two. I wonder if we could think of something that rhymes with that, like some little saying. I'll see ya. I don't know. Okay. I probably shouldn't. Maybe I'll come up with a song or something. I don't know. But see you in two. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you for your kindness. I know y'all are going to send me lots of nice comments, and thank you. I know I'll be encouraged and probably sad by some of the comments, too. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>